Hey everyone, uh, we're gonna talk about sales cycles in this video. Sales cycles are sort of like the driver of opportunities. Opportunities, or a opportunity will contain a sales cycle. Uh, and you define the sales cycle according to how you're gonna progress in closing the deal. So it's very important when you start an opportunity, you select the proper sales cycle because that will indicate the steps or the tasks that you actually need to go through in order to close um, the opportunity or and, and turn the lead into a customer. And it has other things like calculating the value, calculation of value, um, profitability of success, uh, statistical measurements, etc. And it drives tasks like we did uh, see in previous videos. So let's take a quick look at the uh, sales cycle. Okay, let's talk a little bit about sales cycles. So we go into sales cycle. And um, like I said before, this is really critical to um, managing your sales process. So we're going to go ahead and create a new sales cycle. And I'm going to say this is new, small. So it's a small customer and new sales cycle. Um, small, new customer. And here, the probability calculation actually is telling you how likely it is that we will close this account. And as it's moving in the sales cycle, um, you can set up like how, how much the chances go up. So first sales cycle could be like 10%, and the next one could be uh, 30%, and then it's just kind of multiplying up the likelihood, or it could be adding it up. Or you could just say that, you know, it's like a fixed value chances of success or like how much you have completed of the sales cycles. So I'm going to just say chances of success as uh, my, my calculation for probability. Uh, and then I go in here and I want to create two um, stages. So I'll do stage number one, which is going to be uh, qualification. Qualify, uh, and it's let's say it's ten percent, uh, or chances of success is going to be ten percent. Now here is where we actually connect this to an activity. So I could set up activities that go in here for qualification, and I'm going to do that. Um, and I'll just create a new one just to show how we actually do that. So we we'll just call that qual, qualify. And the type of activity here could be a meeting or a phone call. We can set it up as a phone call. Call lead to qualify. And priority, we just put that as normal. And we'll give ourselves um, three days to finish this. Uh, and actually, I'm just going to have this as the activity for uh, the sales cycles. Uh, I'm not going to create it for the second one because I think you get the picture. Uh, for the second one, we'll just say uh, send a quote. So if we ask, if the person, yeah, I want to go ahead and buy this. So let's say uh, you send out uh, a mailer and you follow up with a phone call, which is qualify. If the, by qualification they say, yeah, we're interested, you send a quote to them. Uh, and then let's say that's 35% chance of success. Um, actually, let's create an activity code for this as well. Why not? Um, quote. And you can tie this to a quote in the system. I'm going to do that next. But for right now, we're just going to have type nothing, send quote. So it's just a task. Priority is still normal. And that should just be immediate, one day. Um, and finally, we have uh, the third, uh, we have quote accepted. So we don't need to have the third stage in here. I think after this, you just go ahead and say one or lost. So I'm going to skip that just to qualify and send quote. Let's go ahead and just delete that. Yeah. All right. So I have my sales cycles for this. Um, um, this lead. Also, I can allow to skip. So I'm going to allow to skip to qualify. Let's say if they call us, and so we don't have to qualify them, they're already qualified. 
And then I just go straight to two and I send the quote. All right. So I close this out uh, and get out of here. So let me go ahead and go into sales person people um, and into Peter Sato. And I'm going to go ahead and let me just see. Go into opportunities. Here are all my opportunities from before. And I'm going to create a new one. So I just enter to get a new one and say that's a small lead. And I pick the contact. And it's going to be, let's go ahead and pick Toby. And here I can go ahead and select the sales cycle. So I'm going to change the sales cycle to new small right here. And the salesperson obviously is going to be uh, Peter Sato. And this is not connected to a campaign. So this is just an opportunity I got created on the fly. Um, and now I can go ahead and let me just see, close this out. Uh, has some notifications. That's fine. So it asks me, do you want to activate the first stage for this opportunity? Yes. I'll go ahead and do that. So now I have here small lead. Uh, it's not started. Uh, uh, I was expecting it. Okay, so it goes into current sales cycle one, which is great. Um, and I can just go ahead and open this up and see where it's at. So we have 10% probability of closing this. And it's in uh, sales cycle one. So everything is as expected. If I can take a look at the tasks, I see I have a phone call to qualify uh, this task. So I can go ahead and close that out uh, and keep going. So I just update it to the next step and then close it out as won or lost. So that's how you can use the sales cycles to connect them to opportunities and, and actually move your sale along.